Hi, today I'd like to plant 20 million trees and ow, and also make one Halloween tree that is guaranteed to collect a bunch of dead corpses around it just leaving it on your porch. See, Mr. Beast's fans asked him to celebrate his 20 million subscriber count by doing something positive for the environment and plant 20 million trees. Obviously, he couldn't do it alone. So Mark Rober joined him to help come up with the plan and they decided to bring out the big guns. And I made a super arcing Jacob's Ladder tree. See? Oh, well, I don't think we can get 20 million dollars with this junk. Let's make it safer so it doesn't set things on fire. Anyway, we are doing the largest YouTube collaboration of all time. Thousands of creators joined in from any size and genre to put their influencer power to work and ask you to help with this. And so, Team Trees was created. We joined forces with Arbor Day Foundation, one of the largest, most well-respected non-profit companies for planting trees. And for every dollar donation, they plant one tree anywhere in the world where most needed. Um, yeah, so while I'm talking, I will assemble this killer tree. I will hot glue wires to every branch of the tree, and my goal is to create safer high voltage arcs on every branch. So basically our goal is to raise 20 million dollars before the end of 2019 so that Arbor Day would plant 20 million trees all over the planet before the end of 2022. You just need to go to teamtrees.org and make a donation. I have made videos before to raise awareness around these global challenges. But it is time for me to put my word where my mouth is. The word is where the mouth is. It is to put your money where your mouth is. Oh sh means I have to pay up. There, I planted a thousand trees just like that. <laughs> it feels good. And I didn't have to do anything but to tap into my daughter's college fund. Well, I mean, right now, Team Trees YouTubers and creators are making similar videos, reaching out to hundreds of millions of people. So if anyone who can donates a dollar or two, we can go well past 20 million trees. So why stop there? Also, we can join the first set of wires together like this and bring them down into one high voltage terminal. But for the second high voltage terminal, we have to bring down the wires individually. The reason is that I'm making less than a centimeter wide spark gaps at the tip of the branches and I want all of them to arc. But if I join all the wires together and put all the spark gaps in parallel, then the high voltage will be applied to all the gaps at the same time. But as you know, arcs only jump across the shortest distance, so very likely I'll have a discharge only across the smallest gap. So on one side, the wires can join together into one terminal, but on the other side, the wires have to run individually and I'll switch the high voltage between them so that every spark gap will have an arc. So, 20 million trees. Can you imagine the impact? Actually, let me see how many trees we cut every year globally. According to Mangabay website, 15.3 billion trees are chopped down every year? That's like... 42 million trees per day. They chop 20 million in half a day. Something doesn't add up. Oh wait, according to the Canadian government website, harvesting trees does not cause deforestation. Deforestation only occurs when forests are permanently removed so that the land can be used for something else. Harvesting, forest fires and insect infestations do not constitute deforestation since the affected areas will grow back. Okay, so we are still in good shape. We are not battling chopping trees here, we are battling deforestation. There, planted another thousand trees. And of course this will help, but won't solve the issue. But Team Trees is a statement, a symbol of what we can do when we get together and sends a message about what we really care for, which is our environment. And for example, the logging industry cuts a lot of trees, but not only those tree roots will grow back, but also the industry plants a lot of trees so they can harvest them again in 30 years or so and their business can go on. So really, they farm trees. Still not completely harmless though, since they also cut super large and old rainforest trees that is housed to many species to be replaced by a sapling that will take decades to replace the original tree. 
It affects the ecosystem, soil, and in some cases can lead to deforestation. Completely removing the trees to repurpose the land is the main reason for deforestation, like creating farms or cities. Well, yeah, this is my boost step up high voltage generator which I'll use. Very dangerous. C1 output terminal connects to the one wire that goes to all branches and the other terminal can get close to individual branch wires and the arc jumps across the spark gaps like this. Now I like to move this terminal close to those wires automatically and for that I have to glue these wires in a circle. You might say, ah, the planet is huge, how much deforestation can we do? Let me show you. The entire city of Vancouver used to be very dense rainforests, now replaced with buildings. Looking at Google map, this is the greater city of Vancouver and you can see all the forest is replaced with cities and a bunch of farms. But cities are not huge contributors to deforestation. You can see that there is tons of dense forests around here on the mountains. But if we move to central Canada, you see that it's lighter green. So there is no forest because the weather is not good. Let's zoom in. Every single spot you zoom in in that area, the trees or forests are removed and the land is converted into farms. Really, anywhere on the light green area, the land is converted to farms. The reason is that this area is flat land where they can farm. Same in US, everywhere in the light green area is converted into farms. Those lighter dots you see on the land are cities, which are insignificant compared to the amount of farms. See? Farms everywhere. If I move to Europe, it should be covered with forest, right? Let's zoom to Italy. You see again this darker area is the denser forests on mountains where they can't farm. But again, everywhere you zoom in on the lighter green area is just covered in farmlands. What's going on in France? Let's just zoom somewhere. The entire land is farm. How about Germany? There, all cities and farmlands. But that's just the area I can see the difference between dark and light green. I'm sure a lot of other lands are converted into farmlands too. According to the same Mangabay website, 46% of the world trees have been cleared over 12,000 years by humans. Almost half of the world trees are removed and I'm sure 90% of them was recent thanks to technology and jump in population. Damn, I have to plant another thousand trees. Well, you might ask, why do we have to deforest so much? Well, you know, people need to eat. What are you, a robot? And yet, we waste our food. According to Food and Agriculture Organization, we waste one-third of the food produced in the world. 45% of fruit and vegetables are lost. And Europe, North America, and industrialized Asia waste most of the food. The less wealthier countries don't waste much. So next time you waste food, don't just think about the poor hungry kids. Think about the fact that over one third of those farmlands that cause deforestation are producing food to be completely wasted. There is still tons of areas on earth where we can grow a forest and we need to use them. So there, planted another thousand trees. And here's my circle of wires individually going to every branch. Now I have a DC motor with a wheel on it and if you look closely I connected a very thin wire to the shaft of the motor that's running to the side of the wheel where it's glued. The shaft is also shorted to the body of the motor. So here we are, one high voltage terminal connects to the wire that goes to all branches and the other one connects to the body of the motor that will end up jumping to individual wires. Let's turn it on. My motor and the high voltage generator together draw more than 3 amps, so I bought this high current AC to DC converter that I'll power my device with. Wow, it looks awesome. <laughs> now we can put the whole high voltage stuff in a safe box and ship it. <laughs> well, these modules won't last long if you run them for too long. So we have to just turn them on a few seconds at a time. And another 246 trees. 
And there, I planted 4,246 trees, one for every patron I have. Bless their hearts for supporting my channel. Now it's your turn. Go plant as many trees as you're comfortable by donating to Team Trees or actually plant a tree. And don't make this for Halloween.